Today we're Eastside and we're heading into Brazil and Tal Paro. And I'm so excited about this episode because I get to show you my doo-doo darling. But first, we're gonna go and see if we can find some of a lesser well-known of our local fruits and it's called Padu. So we've made a quick stop at our first location where there are some padu trees. So we're gonna check them out now and see what we find. The traditional Poitou of Trinidad and Tobago are the typical savanna and forest edge species Inga pilosula, which appears to be what we have found here. It wasn't until centuries later in more modern times that Bert Manin, who we met at the last episode, would have begun his introductions of the many varieties that we have now. And according to Eight Pennies, because of the ease of hybridization, the specimen that we would have sampled from Bert in the last episode are actually a domestic variety that are a bit of a Kalaloo. Okay. It's funny that these look like the ones that you gave us in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 some of them are the same. Okay, okay. Yeah, when you open up the pod, you have this seed coat over, it's like a purple, blackish sort of seed, and you have this spongy, cottony, it's almost powdery-like seed coat. And this is what is considered the fruit. This is what we're going to use to make the drink. Inga flowers look very similar to the brush-like flowers of a pomerac tree, except they're white. Hundreds of years ago, if not thousands of years ago, the primitive indigenous Amerindians would have started domesticating Inga here in Trinidad. And they used to do that to, in order to use the seeds. Seeds grow in bean-like pods that can become very large, as we learned during our visit to La Vega Estate for the Carambola episode. These plants so easily cross-pollinate that it's all just mixed up. It's like a callaloo, exactly what Eight Penny said. Surrounding a purpley black seed is a white translucent seed coat. Across areas of South America, the Inga plant, what we call Padu, is most commonly known as ice cream bean. And because it has a, a similar flavor to vanilla ice cream. So with the first batch of Padu that we had gotten from Bert, I ended up making a very nice drink, which I'll show you later. But first, we're gonna look for yet another species of ink, which is the salmon. I wonder if I can make it up there. It's heavy though. Yeah, it's heavy coming down. It's coming down like a log. <laughs> Inga fruits, leaves and seeds are rich in vitamins A, B and C, fiber, protein and antioxidants. Its leaves, when used regularly, can help to cure headaches and nerve problems. Its bark and seeds, which are edible after cooking, is used to treat dysentery. And thanks to Padu's natural anti-inflammatory properties, it can be helpful for bone health and is used as a prevention for rheumatism. Initially, using Brits variety, I removed the pulp, then soaked it in a vodka for a couple of weeks. I guess you can't really call it fermentation because even at that concentration, the microorganisms would have been killed off. However, I ended up with what seemed to be a boozier sweet filtrate that really grew on me. And this is just the Pardue Vodka Infusion over ice. Over very pretty ice. Before I get to show you my doo-doo darling, I need to show you how to make vanilla syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep that because we're gonna need it to make the cocktail. So 
shown you how to prepare simple vanilla syrup and if you're using the beans the longer that you leave the bean in there it's obviously going to be more intense of a flavor that you're going to get so you can check it at intervals maybe leave it in there for a week and see if you like the vanilla flavor that you get after that one thing i forgot to mention is that for my vanilla syrup i did use some lavender so it's actually a, a lavender vanilla simple syrup that we're getting Finally, I get to show you my doo doo darling, and it's not your typical girly sort of cocktail. It is a beer cocktail, but there's some very sweet little accents to it that I'll show you now. So I thought long and hard about the type of beer that I was going to use for this cocktail, and I chose a lager that was quite dry and light. There were some fruity notes, but the thing that you had coming through most was um, its multi character which I think is gonna work well with the chocolate. Uh, I know that white chocolate is not really considered chocolate because it doesn't contain cocoa solids, but there's no reason that we can't still have fun with it. that I got to show you my uh, doo doo darling cocktail which I'm still working on and as soon as I finish that up I'll upload it to the site. So the cocktails that I'm showing you today are going to be utilizing my Poidou infusions, the vodka infusions. So this lovely little fruit is one finger or what people call balimbi and it's very similar to five finger also with its health properties and I'm going to put lots of good information on the blog so you can check that out later on but it's very very sour it's very tart and what I did was I cold pressed it and used it to make this uh, syrup or, or puree and for the other drink that I'm showing you I'm going to make a orange cinnamon reduction so I'll show you that in a bit This drink is a bonus drink. It's like a variation on the last orange Pardue cocktail that I just made, but it's like an orange creamsicle, a boozy orange creamsicle. enjoy the making of these drinks and might even try them out at home if you get your hands on some padu. So of course we want to say a big thank you to Bert and to Arnold as well for toying us around the estate. We always have so much fun when we go up to La Vega. Um, if you're interested in the health side of padu and finding out more about this fruit, I'll have a lot of good information on the blog so check that out and of course we'll have some behind the scenes clips on the Instagram page as well. So until next time. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, creamy. Mm. But you're a bushman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Inga. Hmm. <laughs> you know that much salmon. Salmon is nice. Salmon have vibes. Mm-hmm. Salmon have real vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.